welcome to our math class. For today's lesson, we have turning a quadratic equation into standard form. So, gagawin natin standard form ang quadratic equation. Tanong, bakit ba kailangan pang gawing standard form ang quadratic equation? Hindi ba pwedeng ganito na lang yung mga itsura nila? Well, ang sagot dyan ay hindi. Kailangan po natin gawing standard form ang quadratic equation because um, prerequisite tong topic na to. Prerequisite siya ng solving quadratic equation. Ibig sabihin, may mga part in solving quadratic equation na kung saan kailangan mo nang naka-standard form ang quadratic equation before you can solve it. So, yun. Yun po ang kahalagahan ng um, standard form. So, we have here 9 plus 2x squared minus 4x equal to 0. And we also have x squared plus 10x minus 100 equals to 14. Ngayon, ang gagawin natin, obviously, they are not in standard form. Ito is not in descending order but equal to 0. Ito naman ay in descending order but not equal to 0. Ayun muna, titingnan muna natin yung mga condition na hindi na meet. And then, yung mga condition na, na hindi na meet in standard form, so yun yung gagawa natin ng paraan at kung paano. Yun talaga yung ating topic for today. Here, equal to 0 na siya. So, wala na tayong kailangang gawin dyan kasi na-meet na natin yung unang condition. The thing is, 9 plus 2x squared minus 4x. Ano ang gagawin natin dito ngayon? Ang gagawin lang natin dito, we just have to arrange. Kung sila ay nasa iisang side lang naman ng equation, madali lang yan. We're just going to arrange it um, from highest degree to lowest degree. So, i -re -re lang natin. Ano ba may pinakamataas na degree dito? Ang pinakamataas ay 2x squared. So, yun muna ang gagawin natin. Let's copy 2x squared first. And then, ano ang kasunod na uh, mataas? So, bilugan natin para alam natin na tapos na siya. So, we only have 9 and minus 4x. So, ang kasunod dyan ay minus 4x of course. And then, ang last one ay yung positive 9. So, plus 9. And then, equal to 0. So, ganun lang kadali. So, we have 2x squared minus 4x plus 9 equal to 0. So, ito na yung standard form niya. Next, we have x squared plus 10x minus 100 equals to 14. Ngayon, na-meet na yung descending order. But, hindi natin na-meet yung equal to 0. So, ito ang, may concern, uh, ito ang concern natin ngayon, yung 14. Paano natin gagawing 0 itong right side, eh, may 14? So, paano kaya? So, how are we going to make this 0? Ang gagawin natin, we're just going to subtract this by 14. Kasi 14 minus 14 is 0, ba So, kapag nag-minus tayo ng 14 dito, so, itong right side natin ay magiging 0 na. So, let's have or i-rewrite muna natin siya para mas malino yung ating um, converting ng quadratic equation. So we have here x squared plus 10x minus 100 is equal to 14. Ngayon ang sabi ko, mag-minus ng 14 para maging 0. Now, kapag nag-minus tayo ng 14 here sa right side, okay, so, ang quadratic equation or any equation has left side. Ito yung left. And then, ito yung right side. So, ang boundary nila is the equal sign. Again, left side, right side. So, nag-minus tayo ng 14 dun sa right side. Dapat mag-minus din tayo ng 14 here sa left side. Bakit? Ba't kaya tayo nag-minus 14 both sides? Dahil kapag hindi natin ginawa... Pag di tayo nag-minus 14 sa left side, magiging unbalanced yung ating equation. So, hindi na siya balance eh. Nag-minus ka ng 14, so dapat magma-minus ka rin ng 14 dito. So, cancel na natin yan. So, it will become 0. And then, of course, rewrite muna natin to x squared plus 10x minus 100 minus 14 equal to 0. 
So, final answer na ba yan? Hindi pa. Kasi pwede pa natin tong isimplify. Pwede pa natin silang pagsamahin. So, we have negative 100 minus 14. So, the answer here will be x squared plus 10x minus 114 equal to 0. And this is our final answer. So, standard form na yan, x squared plus 10x minus 114, so 0 na siya. Let's continue. Level up natin ngayon yung ating topic ng bahagya. Yung una nating examples kanina ay medyo madali lang yon. And of course, ito madali lang naman to. Madali lang din naman to. Um, may mga idadagdag lang tayong um, steps. O may iba rin tayong gagawin. Dahil if you're going to take a look at the given, wala kayong makikita squared. Tama? Wala siyang squared. So, paano natin siya masasabing um, quadratic equation? Well, we're going to simplify. Si simplify natin tong dalawang example na to so that we can turn it into quadratic equation at the same time we're going to make it standard. Back to grade 8, math, you know how to multiply two binomials and we have um, we have an acronym for that. So that is the FOIL method. FOIL stands for first O is for outer, I is for inner, and then L is for last. So, FOIL meaning to say, so those are the two terms that you're going to multiply. So, the first two terms, so the outer terms, the inner terms, and then the last terms. So, you are going to multiply those. At gawin na natin, no? We have x times x. Ito yung first. First term ay x. So, x times x ay x squared. And then, outer. Ang outer dito ay yung dalawang nasa gilid. Ito, outer part. So, we have x and then negative 1. So, x times negative 1 ay negative x. So, minus x. So, sakit na ng mga bata yung nilalagay nila is minus 1x. So, please stop doing that. So, kapag 1 na yung numerical coefficient, so we don't have to write it anymore. So, minus x lang. So, next is inner. So, ito yung inner, nasa loob na part. So, we have 2 times x. So, we have plus 2x. And then, the last terms, we have 2 and negative 1. So, 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. And then, equal to 4. So, kung mapapansin nyo, so after doing FOIL method, so lumabas na yung quadratic term. Ito yung quadratic term. And, ito ay isang quadratic equation na. But, we are not yet done with our business. Dahil hindi pa rin siya naka-standard form. So, to make it standard form, kailangan nga equal to 0, and of course, descending. Kung mapapansin nyo, descending naman, di ba? So, 2 Ang degree neto ay 2, 1, 1, and then 0. But still, we need to simplify because we have what we call like terms. So, isi-simplify natin yan. So, the first thing we need to do, hanggat maaari, gawin mo ng equal to 0. Yun muna. Laging gawin mo ng equal to 0. So, minus 4 lang tayo dito. So, minus 4, and then minus 4. So, ang magiging bago nating equation ay x squared minus x plus 2x minus 2 and minus 4 is equal to 4 and then minus 4. So again, bakit ulit tayo nag minus 4? Para maging 0 nga to. So kung nag minus 4 tayo dito sa kanan, magma minus 4 din dapat sa kaliwa. So bibigyan ko kayo ng tip later. So ang tawag ko dito, ito ay aking sariling gawa lamang. So do it to the left, do it to the right. So kung ano man ang gagawin mo sa kaliwa, lagi mong gagawin din sa kanan. So, kung nag-minus 4 ka sa kaliwa, magma-minus 4 ka sa kanan, or vice versa. Kung nag-minus 4 ka sa kanan, mag-minus 4 ka sa kaliwa. So, for example, kung nag-minus 2 ka dito, minus 2 ka rin sa kabila. Nag-divide ka ng 2 dito, mag-divide 2 ka rin sa kabila. So, don't forget that. Kasi essential yun in solving quadratic equation. 
So, do it to the left, do it to the right. So, cancel na natin ito ngayon kasi 0 na yan. And then, rewrite again yung uh, quadratic equation x squared minus x plus 2x minus 2 minus 4 equal to 0. We are almost done. Na kailangan na lang natin dito is to combine like terms. So, I hope alam nyo pa yung like terms. So, we have here minus x plus 2x and then minus 2 and minus 4. So, we have minus x or negative x plus 2x. So, that will be, so copy muna natin tong quadratic term. So, x squared plus x. So, negative x plus 2x is x. And then, minus 2 or negative 2 minus 4. So, that will be minus 6 equal to 0. And that is our answer. So, equal to 0 na siya. And descending na ang mga degree. So, kung mapapansin nyo, from here, so, naging ganito na siya. So, ito na yung standard form. Next, last one, we have 4x times 3x plus 7 equals to 5. So, same with our first example. So, hindi obvious dito yung pagiging quadratic equation niya. But, we can turn it into quadratic equation and then after that, we're going to make it standard. So, ang pinagkaiba lang na ito, ito ay one term lang. So, monomial. And then, we have binomial. So, we have monomial multiplied by binomial. So, ang tawag dito, ang gagawin natin ay distribution. So, distribution meaning to say we're going to multiply 4x by 3x. Then, after that, multiply 4x by 7. So, yun muna una natin gagawin. So, we have here... 4x times 3x, so that will be 12x squared. And then we have 4x times 7, so we have plus 28x equals to 5. And there you go, lumabas na ulit yung ating quadratic term. So quadratic equation na siya, but not yet in standard form kasi equal to 5 pa. So, dapat equal to 0. So, what we're going to do, we're going to subtract by 5. So, 5 minus 5 is 0. Para maging 0 siya. What we do in the right should be done also in the left. So, kung nag minus 5 ka dito, so that magma minus 5 din tayo sa left side ng equation. So, let's do it. So, we have 12x squared plus 28x and then minus 5 is equal to 5 minus 5 so do it to the left do it to the right and then cancel this one so we have 12 x squared plus 28 x minus 5 equal to 0 and I think we're done because if you're going to observe so, naka-descending order na yung mga degree ng kada term. And equal to 0 na siya. And this is our final answer. And that's it.